take two. Hello. Welcome back. And as always, I hope you're doing well. Right. As you can see, I've done a little bit of a take two because this is take two of a video I did do yesterday. But thanks to Premiere Pro, my editing software, the whole program completely crashed. So I had to delete all the files that I'd used and start all over again. So I've had to edit this video down. <coughs> I did actually go to show you all the Kung Fu monthlies in a Stripey Rambles kind of way because I'm planning on buying a few at the Rise of the Dragon event. Anyway, so that's why the video is coming out Thursday, guys, and not Wednesday as I'd planned. Great stuff. Honestly, I spent all day editing and the whole thing just died on me. <coughs> Right, before I start, I want to say I went to the cinema the other night. Uh, there's a new view in Basildon, and I watched a movie called The Substance. The most deranged film I've seen in a long, long time. But I did quite enjoy it in a weird sort of way. Are you serious? Also this week, um, I bumped into a friend of the channel, Mike Clayton. Mike, who um, gave me the Intercepting Fist hardback book, and he's going to the Rise of the Dragon event. I'm looking forward to meeting you again there, mate. And Mike turned up at my home and we went over to visit Steve Kerridge. So we had a blast. We was in Steve's man cave and we was watching Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon on a 15 foot screen. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks again for your hospitality, Steve. It was wonderful. And Mike, hope everything went okay. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Today's video, right. As you know, the last couple of videos I've done, I've done 10 things about Dragon the Bruce Lee story, you may or may not know. And then obviously Saturday just gone, I'd done a follow-up video to that, replying to some of your comments on the subject. Well, I got a message from Steve Kerridge regarding Bruce Lee bios and one thing and another. And Steve said this, Thinking on your question regarding the best Bruce Lee bio, I think Bruce Lee the man the myth. It's also full of fabricated rubbish, but what I like is, it was made back in the early days, so there are not only familiar faces such as Unicorn and the Thai actors used in The Big Boss, but also the Ice Factory as it was when Bruce filmed there, and other locations. It's a great time capsule. Plus, Bruce Lai actually emulates Bruce Lee's fighting style better than anyone else. Thank you very much for your comments, Steve. I do appreciate it. And I think he makes a valid point. Bruce Lee, the man, the myth, was filmed in 1976 it's also known as bruce lee the true story and it is on youtube i'll put a link in the description down below to the movie if you haven't seen it or you haven't seen it for a long time it's written and directed by unseen young who ended up directing game of death 2 a few years later he also produced snake in the eagle shadow and drunken master as i've mentioned many times on the channel two of my favorite jackie chan films proper old school kung fu but great stuff anyway <laughs> But Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth was filmed back in 76. So we're talking just three years after Bruce Lee passed away. And if you watch the movie, you do recognize Unicorn Chan. You know, Unicorn was a great friend of Bruce Lee's um, right up until Fist of Unicorn. I think they fell out a little bit over that. Um, he played Jimmy in The Way of the Dragon. Also, Chan Chu. Chan Chu was the ice factory manager in The Big Boss. And also you see in it, Mark Matetingi. I probably ruined that. He's a jogger in Bruce Lee, the man, the myth, who has a fight with Bruce, Bruce Lai. He plays one of the thugs in The Way of the Dragon. So there are quite a few familiar faces. And also I've got to say, Linda Hurst, who plays Linda Lee in Bruce Lee, the man, the myth, actually does quite a convincing role and looks very similar to Linda at that time. And it does feature many places that wasn't in Dragon the Bruce Lee story or many of the other bios. It's got the University of Washington. You see Bruce Lee running up and doing some tricks with some people around there. It's got that in it. It's obviously got the ice factory in Pak Chong, Thailand. The version I've got is only pan and scan. I don't have a widescreen version of the film, but I'll get to that in a minute. As well as the Piazza Navona in Rome, where Bruce gets picked up by Melissa Longo, Nora Mouse storms off. And of course, the Colosseum. And they seem to be able to film quite a lot in the Colosseum. So from 
I get what Steve's saying from the historical point of view. Bruce Lee, the man, the myth actually does work quite well. And he does emulate certain fighting styles of Bruce Lee. The only thing I notice is the fights just go on and on and on. And Bruce Lee does the sort of Zatuichi style. Bang, 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 and stops for a second. Gives you time to breathe and get your breath. And then again. The problem is with old Kung Fu movies, it's like constantly bump, 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 and they just don't stop. If they've done a bit of that stop and start, it gives you a time to sort of build up the excitement again. You know, bang, bang, bang. Everyone sort of like goes, wall, and then bang, 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 you know. A bit like Zatuichi does in his samurai films, as Steve showed me on his big screen. I personally would like to see... An uncut, I mean, pretty much the man of them, if he's uncut now, they used to cut out the nunchaku scene in it. I would love to see a, a widescreen version of the film released, fully uncut, on Blu-ray. And fingers crossed, in the next Clones of Bruce Lee box set that comes out, they will feature Bruce Lee, the man, the myth. Because it ain't actually a bad film, and it is an amazing time capsule. And talking of time capsules, I've been watching some of the box set thanks Amand Deep The Clones of Bruce and I've watched Bruce Lee Lives recently sometimes that gets confused with Bruce Lee The Man The Myth because they was both released the same year and the music is done by Anders Nelson you know the thug who gets hit by Bruce in the back alley scene with an unchucks friend of Robert Lee he does he's a legend he's a hero it's a little bit cheesy but I kind of like it so that one gets confused but I also watched The Big Boss Part 2 and in that film you've not only got the Ice Factory manager again you've got Lee Kun who obviously plays R Kun in The Big Boss and he plays Shu in Fist of Fury so he's in there and you get some amazing shots of the Ice Factory that you don't even see in Bruce Lee's Big Boss so if you're a bit of a geek and you're into that sort of thing I thought it was great. And it ain't actually a bad little Bruce Bloitation film either. I quite enjoyed it. Now, obviously, none of these films compare to genuine Bruce Lee films. We all know that. We all know that. But I am starting to get a new appreciation for them a little bit. You know, before I've said quite clearly, I can't stand them. I'm kind of... I know there are some that are just dreadful. But there are some that ain't bad. What? If you watch Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth, it literally takes you back. The cars, the roads, and all of that are very similar to how it was when Bruce Lee was making these films. And I think on The Man, The Myth, they spent a bit more of a bigger budget. But yeah, so interesting point, Steve, and I kind of agree with you for that reason. And like I said, he does emulate some of Bruce Lee's fighting style. He just keeps going on and on and on and on. They didn't quite get that bit. So what do you think of Bruce Lee, the man, the myth? Is it your favourite Bruce Lee bio? I know a few people have commented that when I made the Dragon videos. They went, that is their favourite, Bruce Lee, the man, the myth. But what is yours? Or is it Dragon, the Bruce Lee story? The young Bruce Lee? That one is quite highly also known as Bruce Lee, my brother. Made by Phoebe Lee and Robert Lee. I really do hold that one in quite a high regard or is it the legend of bruce lee or the tv series you know the 50 episodes i have got them i just haven't watched them all got them on files on my computer it's a big task to watch 50 episodes but i have to get round to it at some point or birth of the dragon the controversial birth of the dragon let me know in the comments down below or is it one of the bruce bloitation films like bruce lee the man the myth or the dragon lives and obviously the big question, I suppose, is do you have faith in Ang Lee's forthcoming film simply titled Bruce Lee? I personally just don't know. I suppose we're all going to have to wait and see it when it comes out, when it's made. Right, so that's kind of it today, guys. Like I said, I did make a longer video that was going to come out Wednesday showing you all the Kung Fu monthlies that I've got that was given to me kindly by Martin Shell and the Budgie 29 but I'll have to do that video when I get back from the Rise of the Dragon event which is this Sunday 
so there probably won't well there won't be a saturday comments video this week guys unfortunately because tonight i mean i'm filming this now thursday morning um tonight we're going to a beatles not the real beatles obviously show and uh, tomorrow I'll be getting ready to leave Saturday, so I've got to go down to the barbers. That's why I'm looking a little bit scraggly. Got to go to the barbers, get my beard trimmed, and we've got some errands to do. So I just won't have time to do it. And obviously Saturday we'll be travelling to Leeds. So not looking forward to the journey, to be honest with you. I mean, it's a five-hour drive from here, but I do think it's going to be great to meet some of you guys and see what they've got to show us. Should be fun. Right, so that's it. I'm going to love you and leave you. But before I go, those of you that are going to the Rise of the Dragon event, safe journey there, and I look forward to meeting you. I want to thank each and every one of you that take the time to watch the videos, give the videos a thumbs up, all of that, and of course my amazing patrons. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Right. I won't probably have a video out until next wednesday even thursday just depends hopefully wednesday guys and i'm hoping that i can film enough at the event to bring you the experience so you might consider going in the future hopefully i'll see what i'm allowed to film on the day but also i do want to try and enjoy myself on the day as well as just constantly walking around filming everything you know i want to kind of enjoy the day as well right stripey rambles i oh, know i oh, know have yourselves an amazing week guys much love and i'll be back with another ramble real soon you take care now <laughs>